a video on um, white onion soup not a caramelized French onion soup but a white onion soup uh, where we're just going to cook the onions and then puree it up uh, with some milk and some stock uh, which is pretty straightforward I've got a snack of onions uh, and I'm slightly concerned that I'm not going to eat all these onions or use all these onions in anything before they start going uh, soft because one or two have already started going soft so I'm going I'm to pick through these onions and I'm going to pick out the uh, good ones and then the ones that aren't so good that's what I'm going to make the soup out of um, I'll, I'll show you uh, sometimes the onions on the outside they're not particularly looking very good but on the inside they're still uh, usable so we don't like waste uh, so it's just a way of using those up before they go bad and also if you've got a good onion next to a bad onion uh, like you see this one here it's just starting to go a little bit dodgy on the outside so it needs using up and if it's next to a good onion which is that onion it's when did that one start to go a little bit soft there so we'll have a look at that one as well but if a bad onion is next to a good onion it's going to send that good onion off so we just i just need i'm just going to go through i'm just going to use them up and it's a good way of using up these onions uh, also it's like an onion puree as well so it doesn't have to don't have to turn it fully into soup we can just make an onion puree which we can then freeze um so, uh, type of thing but i'm going to make soup um because um i'm going to see uh, a friend and i'm going to drop them some soup off so uh, and also onions are there's loads of flavor to onions but they are they're quite uh, there's a lot of moisture water in onions so we're not going to get that higher yield so i'm going to use two kilos of onions and then we're going to use a set this the standard recipe that i use is 350 grams of onion and then uh, 500 grams of a like carrot or peas or something like that um and then 125 milliliters of water and three stock cubes um and 500 grams of water we can't do that with onions because onions are mostly water so we're going to we're going to use the full two kilos of onions and then we'll use 300 milliliters of water 125 milliliters of stock and uh, two stock cubes maybe three stock cubes depending on the amount of liquid that comes out of the onions uh, difficult to describe um whereas the only way you can i can unless we we'll, you'll understand when we do it but if you need if the idea is if the if you looked at the carrot video that i made on carrot soup and the pumpkin video um you get a lesser yield with the pumpkin because there's more water in it uh, whereas the carrot you get a higher yield because it's quite a fibrous tough vegetable onions are soft onions are a lot softer than um pumpkins i'm waffling uh, as always uh I'm just very aware of that so you'll see um, so I'll go through these onions we'll cut them down there'll be two kilos of onions and we'll see how much soup that makes I've also I'm going to use stock cubes I've also got I also made something else where I was uh, squeezing the juice out of that's me squeezing uh, squeezing the juice out of some uh, cooked leeks and that's the this is the juice from the cooked leeks uh, so I'm going to use that instead of stock it's just taste of leeks in the soup you won't be able to taste it there's no salt in there so it won't affect the recipe of how much uh, stock cubes that we use uh, from a standard recipe it's just that there's flavor in there and it will add to the soup uh, so that's it uh, if i didn't have that i'd just use water but anyway that's it so i'll go through the onions i'll prep them down to two kilos and then we'll come back to that right so as you can see um, this is one of the onions and it's got i can see that a little bit better there we go and it's starting to go a little bit soft there. If we left, if if we left that in the sack, that would um, start making uh, the rest, all the other uh, onions go bad as well. So we need to. That's why I went, I went through the sack and and pulled out all these soft onions. The rest of the onion is fine. It's just that little area there that we need to worry about. There's one, uh, that area and that area. So what we'll do is we'll just slice the through the onion there and there. And then we'll peel that layer of skin off there and we'll see what it's like underneath and we see that the skin underneath it is a little bit infected it's not going bad so we just need to cut out that and the rest of the onion is fine and then we can see so there that bit was a bit bad underneath is fine underneath there is fine so we can chop that up doesn't need to be a um, particularly fine chop uh, you just need to roughly chop them and as you can see that's two kilos of onions and there's a there's a lot of onions there but it's going to cook down uh, to not a lot really because most of it's most of it's liquid um so what i do is onions in half and then half again and then just a rough chop through your fingers not cut through your fingers uh, but just through the onion there we're going to keep that bit of root in 
there's nothing wrong with it as long as there's no dirt there that's fine there's no point putting something on the compost that we can turn into usable soup so that's two kilos of chopped onions and then we've got 300 millilitres of liquid which doesn't look like a lot but I'm slightly concerned that um, I don't want to put in too much liquid we can always add a little bit more as always we can always add a little bit more very difficult to take away so I'll put that on the stove with lid on bring it up to uh, slowly bring it up to uh, uh, start cooking you need to be careful that you don't have the heat on too much uh, because there's not that much liquid in there and the onions are touching the sides of the pan so if any heat gets to the sides of the pan here it's going to start colouring and cooking the onions on the side of the pan which is not what we want so we want them just to start gently sleep, uh, steaming from the bottom we don't need to worry about it losing colour uh, because it's white um, so it's not going to lose any kind of like it's not going to go um, like peas and broccoli and those things go grey in colour if you cook them too long with the lid on. We don't need to worry about that with the onions, so we can slew them, uh, stew them slowly and they'll be fine. So we just need to put them on the heat, get them cooking, slowly cook them down, and then we'll, what will happen is they'll drop. So uh, it'll, it'll take up a lot less space in the pan. You'll see. We'll do when, when they're starting to cook, I'll bring the pan back and we'll have a look then um, because I just feel I'm not making much sense at the moment. Right, so as you can see, uh, the pan of onions was full and it's cooked down to, uh, it's left about half of the pan. It's all kind of cooked down and collapsed. So, and, and you can see how for the 300 milliliters of liquid that I put in, oh, it's really big, it's really steamy. Um, but as you can see, for the 300 milliliters that's gone in, you can see how much liquid has kind of come out of the onions. So it's gonna be quite a thin soup but it's going to be delicious. And considering it's just onions, milk, and a bit of stock, it's absolutely a really, really, really nice soup. And cheap as well. So I reckon what? So a bit, uh, uh, like a, two kilos of onions is about a pound. Uh, three stock cubes is about 10 pence. Uh, and there's about 10 pence worth of milk as well. So one pound 20 ish ish. Um, and then it's good. We'll see how much in volume it makes, but I think we'll probably make about a litre. Litre in 1.2 litres, and that will, so that's like five portions. So 20, 20, 25 per portion, something, something like that. I'll do a proper costing, uh, but I'm in the rush to go out. So uh, we need to get this done and finished and out of the way. So, as always, we're going to start puring it down, and then we'll have a look at if we need to add a little bit more liquid, we'll, have, we'll add a little bit more liquid. Um, but from that amount of liquid there, I reckon it's certainly going to need two stock, two stock cubes, so we might as well put those in now. It'll probably need a third as well, might even need a fourth, uh, but we'll see. Uh, it's just about getting you used to tasting things as you go. I'll have a spoon ready as well this time, instead of not having one ready. So. So it's come to it's probably it, we'll see how we add uh, what happens when we add the milk, uh, but it's it's thinned down uh, quite well. So I think it'll probably need a little bit of the milk and a little bit of stock, but we'll give it a taste. It might need another stock cube. Yeah, it certainly needs another stock cube. <coughs> As always, thicker liquids uh, are more difficult to puree. So the, the more liquid we add to them, the, uh, the easier it's going to puree down. So we'll add the mil milk now and see what difference that makes to the consistency. It'll probably be a vast consistency. You know, I always add milk, full fat milk. Um, but if you wanted to add cream, that, that takes soups to another level entirely and makes them more certainly more rich and luxurious. I just add milk for the, for the cost, but if you're not bothered about the cost and you want to make a really delicious uh, soup and add cream, by all means, add cream. Now, give it a 
the coast. I think I might add more milk. Yeah, I'm gonna add more milk instead of stock, I think. So we'll add another 100 millilitres or 100 grams of milk. some stock as well. Yeah, so we need to add another stock cube. So that's four stock cubes in all. If you kind of want a, a lesson on seasoning and tasting, this is pretty much it. And then we need to add in another 100 millilitres, I think. So, winging it as always. No 100 millilitres. That's the um, the leak stock juice that I had. Otherwise, if I didn't have that, I'd just use water. Right, what's that like? Nice consistency. Oh, that's good. And a lovely flavour. So, there we go. Um, I've forgotten exactly what the recipe was. So it was uh, two kilos of onions and it was 400 millilitres of water, 250, no, 225 millilitres of milk and four stock cubes. And it's going to make quite a bit. So, we don't bang plastic on metal. We bang it on our hand just to get rid of that there, like that. That can go in the washing up. And then we'll see how much soup we've made. I think we've made quite a bit actually. So this is this will be a this will be a cheap soup. Oh we've made loads of soup. We've made over two litres, we've probably made about 220, 220 litres, something like that. 220 litres. We've probably made about 2.2 litres, which is loads of soup, and this is going to be a cheap one as well. So that's a, that's a good thing, cheap and tasty as well. So there we go. Um, onion soup. I don't know much much more to say. It's um, you. It's one of those things you'll be surprised how delicious it is because just the taste of onion, you kind of think mm, a bit bland. But with the stock and with the milk, it makes a delicious soup, and people. If you serve it to people, they wouldn't realise it was just plain onion soup. They'd want to know what it was, but it is delicious. So there we go. That's what you do if you've got some onions that you need to get rid of and bulk something out. There you go. Delicious soup and cheap. <laughs>